Hey guys, Lodicus here with the full achievement guide walkthrough for Genesis Noir. This should get you the full 1,210 game score in under 8 minutes. We're going to get the first 12 in a matter of seconds. Press A to get to this photo sensitivity warning menu and then all you need to do is press X 12 times. This is going to then pop 12 achievements for the base game leaving us with the two endings and the three DLCs to clean up which I'm going to go through now. These next few achievements, we're going to utilize the debug menu that requires you to plug in either a USB or wireless keyboard. Once plugged in, we can then go into the debug menu by pressing Control, Shift and L. Then we want to select level and then ending. And then we want to select start at a loan timeline. This is then going to throw us into a cutscene and give one of our first ending achievements. Once we're happy that that achievement has popped, we can then press start and exit back to main menu. And then as you've guessed it, we're then going to fire up the debug menu again by pressing Control, Shift and L. Select level, ending again, select start at, and this one is a fair timeline. Same as the previous achievement, we're just going to get a quick cutscene and then the achievement should pop for not alone. That should give us all 14 achievements for the base game, giving us a thousand G. We now just have to clean up the three DLCs. And again, we can use the debug menu to skip a lot of the story and interactions. So for this one, we want to go into Control, Shift and L, select Hubble or one, and then we're starting at cutscene, finding GB03. This is gonna throw us into this little bit of a cutscene. And then all we need to do is interact with the three items. So first of all, the photograph. And then click that again. And then we want to interact with the fountain pen on the floor here. So click that. Then click it again to close it down. Wait a couple of seconds and then a palm should appear with a spiral on it. Click on the spiral and that should unlock your first DLC achievement. Again, once the achievement is popped, just press start and exit back to the main menu and then we're going to utilize the debug menu again to move on to the next DLC achievement. The second DLC achievement is called Observe. This one's probably the most involved out of a lot of them. It involves us drawing some constellations in the sky using the stars. But once we've gone back to the main menu, we're just going to then jump to debug again. And then what we want to do is select level Hubble or two, and then start at cutscene constellation done underscore three, which is the third one up from the bottom. In this one, there is a little bit of a puzzle that we need to solve to get the achievement. This involves completing six constellations by connecting the stars. It will only allow you to connect the stars that do connect to each other. So if it's not connecting for whatever reason like this, it's because they don't connect. Put them all together like so, and that should be our first one, the snake. And then if you click on another star here, we're going to draw a tree. So if you do it in this format, you should get the tree constellation. And then what you can do is hold A to drag the screen. So if you just hold down A and then move your analog stick, you should be able to find another star system. This one in the bottom left, all you need to do is connect each of the two together, which makes you four little people. Then move on up to the next star system. Nice easy one, just connect these two together. Makes a cigar. And if we move to the right, all you need to do is connect these three together, which makes the gun. Voila. And then if we move down here, it should be the last one. All we need to do here is draw a Z shape. So connect these four together like so. And then it should pan out. And then you'll have a beam of light underneath your character. Click on that. And then we should pan back down to earth. And while we're in Stonehenge here, we just want to move around to the right. And then you should find there's a star that you can interact with above this burning man. Click on that. This little character's now placed three items on the floor. All we need to do now is interact with those three items once we get the chance. So let this cutscene play out. 
and then it should pan back down to Stonehenge where we can then interact with those three items. Once you've interacted with all three, again, the achievement for Observe will pop. So here we are, just appearing back down on the ground. So I think I interact with the photograph first. So once you get uh, control of your character again, pan over to the photograph, click that twice, click the horn twice, and then the flame or torch on the floor, click that twice. And then the palm or hand should appear again on screen. Just click the swirl and then you should get a cutscene and the observe achievement will pop. This then leaves us with one DLC achievement left to get, which is called Reveal. This one's relatively straightforward and we're going to utilize the debug menu again to get us there. So once you're happy the achievement is popped, just press start and exit back to main menu again, ready to put in our last location for the debug menu. Our very last location that we want to go to is Hubble O3. And then we want to start at interaction constellation puzzle underscore three. And this will throw you out into this view here where we're looking into space for a spaceship. What you want to do is change the filter to the very bottom circle, which will show us the trail of the spaceship. Follow this to the right hand side of the screen. What it'll do is eventually loop up and back around on itself and voila, you have found the spaceship. Click on that twice. You get a quick cutscene here of the spaceship and somebody jumping out of it. You get a tap on the shoulder and you'll be giving a picture. Click on that picture and then click on the picture again and that should give us our last achievement for reveal. Once this cutscene's played out, you should get a full 17 achievements and a 1,210 gamer score. If you found this guide useful, as always, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.